Well hi everyone, welcome along to another little video today. I'm out and about. Of course I'm on the bike and uh, I was just passing this field and I thought what a nice little spot to uh, take a photograph. I've been trying to do this actually, these rolled bales of hay for some time. Uh, I'm on the, uh, the Multistrada 1260S uh, again, which is the new bike I've got now. It's got about 500 miles on it just over now, so it's coming up actually quite quickly to its first service mileage, and today I'll take it over that. And uh, managed to get it in for a first service in about a week's time, so uh, should get me through the next weekend or two. Apparently I can run it up to a thousand miles before I have to take it in, and I'm guessing after that it probably starts to... Uh, sort of impact the warranty maybe or something like that. That's a bit of exhaust to start the old journey off. So where am I heading? I'm heading over at the minute to Thursk. I'm on a bit of a loop today and uh, trying out all sorts of different little back roads. Um, I went this morning from where I live, down in Huddersfield in West Yorkshire. I went up to uh, Route 59 Cafe and stopped there for half an hour, first of all. And then from there I've taken some nice little roads up to here, where I am now, which is on Tithe Barn Avenue. And uh, this is between Ripon and Thirsk, kind of going the back roads way. And so I'll get to, uh, to Thirsk probably, I don't know, in, uh, in the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. And then I, I'm going to stop there and get some fish and chips. And then when I've had those, I'm going to head over to Seaways Cafe in Friday Thorpe. Um, I'm guessing by that time it will be shut though, because it's already, what... It's already quarter past two now, so yeah, it's probably going to be closed by then. And let me just get through this little junction. Yes, yeah, so I'll get over to Seaways and uh, possibly stop around and about that area, even if. Uh, even if it's closed for a little bit of a stop. And then I'm thinking of heading down to Squires Cafe because I haven't been there for quite a while now. And just stop there and have a cup of tea for half an hour. And that will complete my journey. So yeah, I've had some pretty nice roads so far. Uh, quite a few little nice roads to come. So uh, lovely sunny day and out I am on the bike, why not? You know, you've got to do these things, haven't you? You've got to grab that little bit of opportunity. This year we've had a cracking summer, haven't we? And uh, it's definitely been worth every minute of this summer. We've had very little rain, very little... Uh, I mean, it started off with a bit of a question mark hanging over it. Was it going to be a nice summer or not? And then once the summer broke, it's been great ever since, so if it was like this all the time in the United Kingdom then it would be really, really the place to live. Um, even up north where I live, you know, uh, normally it's colder, it's wetter uh, around about the places I live uh, compared to the south, but uh, this year we've had a cracking little year. So I absolutely can't complain. But still, I'm going to stop here because it's one of those junctions on a bit of a bend where it's better to have a good look. Um, so that, yeah, that's it really. I'm just out and about on the bike having a little runabout today. Uh, not with anybody uh, having a run. I have to say I'd kind of... Uh, I've given up a little bit with one or two people because it seems all they want to do is go for a run when it's convenient for them or it's not very convenient for them very often uh, and I've, 
I must admit, I'm taking no prisoners nowadays. I really have got to the point where it is, look, if you want to go for a ride, let's do it. If you don't want to go for a ride, don't bullshit me. Don't give me a load of crappy excuses. You either want to go or you don't. Uh, and that's what it comes down to. It might be a bit harsh, but hey, look, you know, we've all got lives to lead. And I can't be running around after people who want to kind of take things their way, live life their way, do things at the last minute that fuck my life about. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not having it. You can go fuck off. And that's the kind of conclusion I've drawn. You know, why should I toss around or be tossed around by people who just want to do things their way when they want to at the expense of me when I want to. You know, it's got to be give and take. There's got to be decency and a bit of integrity and a bit of respect for one another. And if there isn't any of that, then I'm not your guy to be any kind of friend with, I'm afraid. Go and find some other fool who'll do what you want when you want, but nothing when they want. So yeah, it, kept, it was a bit of a, an annoying morning. Uh, a couple of people I've told pretty much to fuck off because I've just had enough of it. And uh, no doubt there'll be a lot more because it seems that the new way of doing things is to completely disrespect each other. And I put a little post up on uh, Facebook along the same lines that, you know, if you're going to invest your time in people, be bloody sure that they have some kind of interest in you because it seems to me nowadays that people have fuck all interest in each other and perhaps just run around thinking they're some kind of little film star celebrity type person or that's what they think in their head uh, or they're actually out there causing trouble for somebody. Well fuck it I'm not I'm not gonna be part of it you know so heading to Thursk as I say on all the little back roadies that's what we're doing we're not going to uh, go on the main roads we're going to Dalton and Sesse now wherever this is can't be far off can't be far off those fish and chips and uh, I really do need to get back to the gym as well bike is doing fantastically well it really really is a brilliant little thing i love that exhaust the little clatter sound it makes the little bark it has when you're changing gears and just its general warm throaty sound is brilliant you don't hear much of it actually do you through the uh, the mic in the helmet unfortunately I'm gonna have to work out a way of giving you uh, and myself as well of course when I'm uh, listening back to these videos uh, an idea of what this exhaust sounds like I'll have to try and get it mic'd up somehow I know some of the uh, motor vloggers like Royal Jordanian has been uh, micing his exhaust up for years that's actually how he became uh, popular on YouTube originally because he uh, he was able, he didn't talk, he didn't say a thing originally for well, well over I think a year if not a couple of years. Uh, he just used to talk through his exhaust so to speak. But this is what it's all about biking, you know, apart from it would be nice if uh, there was more of a real community and people really took some kind of personal care of each other rather than what seems to now be this kind of uh, quick win shallow friendship style of uh, I'll have a bit of time for you when I can be asked to sort of thing. Uh, apart from that this is what it's all about. It is about getting out on your bike and going for a run and having fun when the weather is good. That means this year we've had lots of uh, opportunity to go out and have fun. 
And one of the other reasons as well I got this bike was, uh, apart from the fact that the suspension is so much better and uh, it handles brilliantly and it's smooth and it's comfortable, is it is a kind of what they call a uh, sports enduro style bike. So it is ideal for touring and it also will probably do or fare better in the colder weather um, with it having some fairing and screen and stuff like that so um, I'll hopefully be able to ride it a little bit longer into the, uh, the colder months I usually take my bike off the road for December and January uh, although I have had some years where January has been quite a nice time with the sort of crisp mornings to uh, to get out there as long as it's dry and not icy but yeah hopefully I can still be on this until uh, November I'll get it all ACF 50 open and uh, prepared and winterized and then I'm thinking of actually taking it to a specialist painters who are called Eight Ball down in Derbyshire. They uh, can take a bike and uh, create whatever style. And what I actually wanted was to replicate the look and feel of the Hypermotard SP that I had before I got this bike uh, because it's got the red, it's got the base colour red, it just needs that fancy white sort of. Uh, Well, I don't know how you describe it, but the sort of the white sort of decals that are on the. Uh... Have a listen to this. It's a lovely little beastie bike. The torque and the little shift of power just. Uh whisks you away, it really does, it's great fun. I've been doing a lot of this uh, retreating of the roads still a bit of loose gravel here and there, you can just feel it every now and then, occasionally, so just taking it a little bit easier on these bends, watching out for some of this, look at that loose gravel there, you see? I don't know if that could be seen on the camera, back to the old surfaces, this should be okay. I'd uh, just stop very briefly and tell you that, as I say, the bike is still doing really well and uh, I'm still out and about on it, really enjoying it, really enjoying it. Um, and that's... Uh, I'm off to get me fish and chips, I suppose. <laughs> it's the story of today. Sorry, it's not that exciting, this video. For now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having uh, a good uh, time through the summer. If you're on a bike, ride safe. And whatever you do, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.